The final stage of our locomotive production will be applying the step wells to the front and the back, then the nose and the fuel tank. And in the next tutorial, not part of this series, we're going to texture and export this locomotive into Microsoft Train Simulator. But uh, the main thing to learn here is you can build any type of locomotive you want. It's This is just a very basic sort of locomotive and it's to get you used to working in 3D Canvas. And I think you'll find it's, it's a lot easier than you thought it would be. And it's just a lot of measurements and playing around with, with moving things. To begin building the nose, we drag and drop another cube primitive onto the scene and go to our measurements and scale it. Size, nose, length, 1.22. We're ready to nearly position the nose, but it first needs to have a face removed. And then to position it, I'm going to let you make the calculations. First of all, you have to find out where the front of the cab is, what that measurement is. Then you have to add half the width, sorry, half the length of the nose to that position. And that will give you the correct position for the for the nose and the height will also be the same it, it's, it's going to be the position of the base plus half of the base's thickness plus half of the height of the nose and that's just an exercise for you to get used to these sort of measurements it's it's not difficult it's just a matter of remembering that your objects usually have their axis central. Now we select the edges that we'd want to apply the chamfer to on the nose. That'll be all the, the top left and right edge, the top front edge, and the front side right and left edges. Once we have them selected, we just go over and click on the chamfer tool and it's applied. And the nose is complete and in the correct position. The last thing that I'm going to show in this tutorial is the construction of the fuel tank and the access steps. Now we're going to do the access steps to begin with and the thing that we're going to do is a subtraction operation on the steps. Now this is where you place one object merged with another object in the same space and then you subtract one object from the first object and what you're left with is a hollowed out section where the other object was. The, the second object disappears and it's literally subtracted from the original object. Now that's to give us the cutouts for where the steps would go. And that'll be it for this tutorial because it's, it's already quite large and it uh, should show you enough to get you going. And then for the uh, final tutorial, which will be coming soon, you will see how to export this locomotive and how to texture the locomotive ready for use in Microsoft Train Simulator. Now we just get a cube as, as usual and we size it based on the plans we have.
and we end up with this shape and to make the cutouts drag and drop a couple of cube primitives next to that and position them after you've sized them position them into the front corner of this step section Just sizing the sections. These cubes that I'm working on now will be removed. They'll be subtracted from the larger section and when they are they'll leave a space that is the size of the step well. I've just moved the cutout piece and the step piece centrally to make the measurements more accurate and that, that'll help us move to the corners and I'll let you work out the measurements to get that cube into the corner it's just the same sort of measurements as we've been doing and remember that each object has its origin central at the moment its axis central move the objects and one at a time move them to the edge and once you have the cutout sections in the corner that you want select subtract and then click on the first part that's going to be subtracted from and then the next part the large part is the subtract D subtract door so it's subtract this part from that part and you'll notice the that when we do that correctly we're left with a big section cut out of the step and we'll repeat that on the other side <laughs> 